Hello, Team Gerwal. You are flipping in fifth with me, Mrs. G. Today we will be talking about Topic 5, Lesson 6. And our learning target is, I can use the standard algorithm to divide by a two-digit divisor. So what is a standard algorithm anyway? Well, that is just a fancy finger word for the good old-fashioned way of dividing. Remember, we've talked about this before. First you estimate, then you divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So here's our first problem. There are 866 Kansas City Husker fans headed to Lincoln for the game. Each section in Memorial Stadium holds 34 people. So how many sections will these fans need so everyone gets a seat? Have a little bit of music for you while you tell me what this problem is. Is it adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? And go ahead and set it up for me now in your notebook. Wonderful. Well, hopefully you were as successful as the Huskers usually are in their football games by coming up with this problem, 866 divided by 34. Now we're going to go ahead and solve that using the standard algorithm. But the first thing we need to do is estimate. So we're going to estimate by rounding each number over here to its highest place value. So we would get the 34 would turn into a 30. 866 would turn into 900. So now if we're going to divide 900 by 30, we're just going to underline our non-zero digits. 9 divided by 3 gives us 3. And then using the battle of the zero strategy that you already learned about, you know that you only have to add one zero. So our estimate is going to be 30. But it is definitely going to be an overestimate. So we need to think about that when we're going through and solving our problem. Again, I'm going to write divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down on my paper so I remember all of the steps to the standard algorithm. We already know that there is no way that 34 is going to go into 8. So we're going to put a 0 above the 8. We'll erase it later, but for now it's just helping us remember. So now we need to decide how many times does 34 go into 86. Well, when we looked at our estimate, we saw that there was a 3 in the tens column. So we could start off by figuring out what is 34 times 3 and see if that is a good number to start with. Well, we're going to do 4 times 3 equals 12. Carry the 1 over there. Then 3 times 3 is 9. Add 1, that's 10. So 34 times 3 is 102. 102 is too big to go into 86. So we should probably try to see how much is 34 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 2 is 6. Perfect. So we know that our first number that is going to go on top of our house is going to be a 2 because 34 times 2 is 68. So we're going to subtract. That answer is 18. We're going to check, is 18 smaller than 34? It is, so we know that we can keep going by bringing down the 6. So now we have 186 that we have to think. How many times does 34 go into that? Well, we already did 34 times 3, and that came up with 102. That's still a number that's too small. So we're going to think, hmm, if, a, if 34 times 3 is 102 and we added 34, well, that still just gives us under 140. So let's try 34 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 5 times 3 is 15. Add 2, and that's 170. So that works. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 170 after putting the 5 above the house. 186 minus 170 is 16. Is 16 less than 34? It is. So we know that that is going to be our remainder. So we think that our answer is 25 remainder 16. But before we can go on and say that we're finished and we're complete, we need to check our answer using multiplication. 
So we're going to do 34 and multiply that by 25. And 34 times 25, well, 4 times 5 is 20, so there's the 0. Put the 2 above the 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Add 2, that's 17. Now we have to multiply the tens. So remember, we have to put the 0 there to hold the spot. 4 times 2 is 8, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now we need to add up the partial products, and that gives us 850. But 850 does not match 866. So does that mean we did the problem wrong? Hmm. I know I'm forgetting a step. What could it be? Oh, the remainder. We have to add the remainder. So we will add 850 plus 16, and that gives us 866. So our answers are the same. We know that we have checked our problem. And the answer is they will need to buy at least 25 sections, but really 26 sections so that those remainder 16 people all have a seat as well. So now you try. Here are tonight's practice problems. I want you to solve by estimating and then using the standard algorithm and then check by multiplying and adding the remainder. Here are practice problems now. Go ahead and write them in your notebook. Work out the problems and then pause the video and come back for the answers. Okay, here come the answers in three, two, one. The answer to problem one is 11, remainder eight. The answer to number two is 26, remainder three. And the answer to number three is 35, remainder seven. Before you go, make sure you checked your work and you wrote how many you got correct. Be honest, please. Also, honestly, fill out your self-reflection. Let me know if you like the standard algorithm better than the doubles digits that I taught you yesterday. Remember, it doesn't matter which one you use as long as you get the correct answer. And then fill in the space for any questions you still have. I hope you have a great night, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.